Today, there are 200 million beef cattle being raised around the world. And amongst them, there are different breeds and origins. Aberdeen Angus, Hereford, Charolais, Brahman, and Murray Gray. In addition, there is the Japanese breed, the Wagyu. Wa means Japanese, just like Washoku, Japanese cuisine, that has been recently put on UNESCO's World Cultural Heritage List. Today, the farming of Wagyu has expanded overseas to the Americas and Australia, for example. Although we mustn't forget that it remains a foreign Wagyu raised outside of Japan and not a pure breed Wagyu. So what does it take to raise a pure breed Wagyu? Koroge Washu, Akage Washu, Nihon Tankakushu, Mukaku Washu. These four breeds and the crossbreeds of only these four can be defined as Wagyu in Japan. The Koroge Washu makes up 90% of all Wagyu in Japan. A delicate and tender meat with a pale red colour, fine marbling and the tasty unsaturated fat are the main characteristics of a Wagyu that is known as the best in the world today. The Ozaki beef we present to you today is also a Koroge Washu breed. But the Ozaki beef has its own unique characteristics. Most of the Wagyu cattle are raised with large volumes of high-calorie standard feed over a very short period of time. With the Ozaki beef, on the other hand, the cattle are fed with local grass, malted barley mash, corn, barley. Fifteen different ingredients compose this all-organic feed without pesticide nor antibiotics. In general, Wagyu cattle are 28 months old when slaughtered, but Mr. Ozaki prefers to let them grow until their 36th month at the latest for them to age more and to bring a tastier meat. Ozaki brings to us a well-aged meat that melts in the mouth, its umami flavour developing with every bite. Extremely light despite its marbling, this is the kind of beef we want to eat every day. This is Ozaki beef. Enjoy! <laughs>